I abducted children, slicing open their bodies and taking pleasure in the sight of their organs. Welcome to my grim world. I am Baron Gilles de Ray. I belong to one of the most powerful families in France and was one of the most savage serial killers of all time. I was born in 1404. After the premature death of my parents, I inherited a vast fortune, affording me considerable financial freedom. At a mere 16, I joined the war and later became a hero in the fateful Battle of Orléans, next to Joan of Arc. I was now 26 years old, a commander of an army, owner of extensive lands, and a celebrated hero of the Hundred Years' War. In addition, I owned several castles and estates, but my murderous desire was not quenched in these dark times. I began to kill, not on the battlefield, but behind the walls of my castles and estates, not for the sake of war, but for sheer pleasure. I kidnapped young peasant boys from the region, brought them to my castle, abused, tortured, and killed them in a brutal way. If I couldn't find any boys, I would also turn to girls. I had their bodies gruesomely opened, taking pleasure in the sight of their twitching organs. Sometimes, I would sit on the bellies of the children because it excited me to watch them die. And when the children were dead, I would kiss them, then decapitate them with a blade and hang their most beautiful heads and limbs on display, sometimes making up the heads and organizing macabre competitions. Thanks to my high social rank, I was able to follow my murderous instincts unhindered for eight years from 1432 to 1440. Already 140 children had fallen to my deadly pleasure. But in May 1440, I made a crucial mistake. I stormed a church and abducted a priest who was also a local and treasurer of Duke John V of Britain. With this assault, I made an enemy of the Bishop of Nantes, who initiated a procedure for heresy. Under threat of torture, I confessed to 140 pleasure murders, demon summoning, and sodomy. However, the real number is likely much higher. On October 26, 1440, I was hung in front of a massive crowd in Nantes, along with two of my accomplices. Believing that I had made enough atonement through my confession, I died with the conviction that I would ascend to paradise.